um, a clean sheet and three points, that, that was the biggest thing, but um, it was good my, my family were there, um, parents were there, they were there. they've been there since the first one, travelled to Oxford away in 2003 for the first one, so it meant a lot, And uh, but I just wanted the three points and the clean sheet was a nice one too. Yeah, that's all around it off, don't it, getting that clean sheet in a big game like that for yourself? Yeah, definitely, it was like towards the end I was saying to the ref, well, how long's left? And he said, there's five minutes left. I was like, just blow up. And then after the game, he said, well, what, what's wrong? I said, it's, it's 500, I wanted a clean sheet. He's like, oh, you should have said. It's not something you really look at. And it's only recently since a few people have said, you must be getting close. And uh, probably about 10 away. And he was like, oh. So it was, um, it's nice. And then you set new targets. And next one was 500 league appearances. So. Hopefully get to that. I mean, when you look back, I mean, is it sort of a blur or does every single one of them games has its, has its own memory? You know, sort of yeah. Thing? Funny enough, you, you remember like goals that you conceded that you think you might be able to do better. Um, when people ask you about games, it, it suddenly springs to your mind. Someone actually spoke to me about a, a game and I was like, I don't remember playing that. And he had to look it up and I was playing it. So there are some, um, maybe because we lost. Um, but there's a lot that, that spring into your mind and, and your memory from, from good times. How, how special was it to do that at Hillsborough as well? It's not exactly like you're winding down your career, you're playing for a club that's obviously got a lot of ambition and you know going for promotion this season and in a, in a crowd of 20,000, it must make it all the more special. Yeah, that's why I didn't really put it out there before because um, sometimes it... Not that it takes takes anything off it, but I wanted to concentrate on on, on winning and, and putting Tuesday right. Uh, so did the gaffer. I don't think the gaffer knew either. Uh, there's only a select few that I, sp I spoke to about it. Um, so yeah, it was all about about the team, and, and in every every single one of those 500, it's always been the same. You want the same result, and uh, like you said, I, I'm here to. I said it in my first interview with you. I'm here to try and win win a trophy, and and that that's what I'm continuing to do. Do you remember your first game? Yeah, Oxford away. Came on, Michael Ingham came off. Uh, Terry Dolan was the manager. York v Oxford it was. If you were to sort of go back now and speak to David Stockdale making his debut then, how, what would you say to him about how your career is going to go and any advice for yourself? Uh, save more goals. Uh, no, um, it's all about what I say to my little boy and everything. It's all about enjoying it while you can. Because you say, you're not winding down your career. It's towards the latter end, and I try to help young lads now. Like today, we played, and a couple of lads, and I was just saying to them, "Look, you're here for a reason. You don't get this opportunity to come up with the first team. Enjoy it. Put everything you can into it because that can be the the make or break. Or and you're going to get down down times in a career, and I've had quite a few and, and some dark moments. But the times when you come to a club like this, after some tough times in recent years." It just shows you if you keep going, and there's so many people out there that that will tell you how bad you are. But you've got to remember the times that that got you to those first ten, the middle 200, the the end 500, and then finally this year as well. Like try my best to keep up with Doss and and Pierce, and um, they push me on, and and it, it's great great atmosphere actually. You mentioned your family. How much did it mean to them? We saw the, the balloons in, in, in the box after the game and stuff. It must have, they must have been really proud. Maybe because they're thinking uh, it might be time to finish up and <laughs> spend a bit of time with them. Uh, yeah, it, like you say, it's not something that you. I've really looked at and gone, oh, I've played this many games. So when it happens, it, it was a bit like a bit of a shock. Not a shock, but I didn't know they were doing anything of that because I was very much like, no, it's just just a normal game and. Don't want to jinx it, don't want to do it. So it was nice that they came with that. And that, uh, as I did the um, the team talk in the circle and I wanted the lads to put on a professional show. And, and like you say, after Tuesday, I thought his performance was, was good enough to get a result. So I just said, look, carry on doing the same things and we'll, we'll, we'll capitalise and, uh, and luckily we could. Yeah, how, so you did the, did the team talk before, was that sort of agreed with you and Baz or was that just... Yeah, no, I, I've taken a couple now. Um, it's just sometimes, I, and I feel like sometimes Baz thinks he's saying the same things. And it's hard, you know, he, he leads on the pitch. So 
sometimes it's it's nice for somebody else, another voice, and, and reaffirming the same things really, but it's just another voice and um, obviously Baz feels like that it's, I'm someone they listen to even though they don't through the week, you know, it's a talk gibberish, but it's about keeping the lads together and, and, and showing that, that we're all going in the same direction and we all want the same thing. And just finally, obviously that 500 milestone's done now, what's what's the next target, what's, what are the next goals in, in, the, in your career? A trophy this year, um, then that'd be five promotions for me. I think uh, I spoke to Lindsay, the secretary, when I signed. And we had a little chat and a coffee. I said, oh, wouldn't it be brilliant to lift the trophy here? And she was saying, oh, that would be some, some atmosphere. So I think that's kind of like a mental memory in, inside my head that I, I want to see it. And my son, unfortunately, he couldn't come to the Wickham promotion at Wembley when we got promoted. So he's always asking questions. He don't believe I played against half the players. So to be able to show him and say, this is, and, and back home in Yorkshire, it's um, going to be something special, fingers crossed.